Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about um, fasting and I want to talk about the strength of God. So um, when we fast, um, sometimes it might be hard to get through, but what I've learned is um, what God has taught me is that fasting is not trying to um, complete the fast by our strength. But it is by God's strength alone that we are able to fast. It is by God's strength alone that we are able to do anything. So when we look to God for strength and we rely on his strength to do things, we will succeed every time. And it is only by his grace that we are able to do anything. So only... Um, when we believe that it is not by his strength and our strength that's when we ultimately fell so i had a dream thank you Holy Spirit. i had a dream and in this dream it was nighttime and um i was getting shot at and there was a car coming after me shooting at me and all of a sudden i look around and i start seeing people being raptured they um they started rising to the sky and um they started disappearing um, like going into a different portal, like I can't explain it, just like, um, like disappearing in in um, mid air. So then I'm like, I I wasn't going. So then I was like, thinking to myself, like surely I'm gonna go soon. I'm gonna go soon. And I wasn't going, but then down from heaven, down from the sky came two huge hands and i knew it was god's hands and he came it came like this right it came down from the sky like this and so i jumped on i jumped to reach the hand and i was holding on to his hand right just dangling from his hand holding on but i wasn't strong enough to hold on so i fell right i fell and then um, someone in a helicopter came to get me. And um, it was a man. And in the helicopter were um, bodies laying down in the helicopter. Um, I, I believe they weren't dead, but they were probably asleep. And then he said, um, here comes the charter club. Right? Here comes the charter club. And then I... Right before I woke up, I remember screaming, uh, Daddy, why won't you take me? Right? And then I woke up. So then I realized what that dream meant was I'm trying to get to heaven by my strength. You know, I'm trying to do things um, by my strength. That's why, that's why, um, I jumped to grab onto his hands by my strength, but I wasn't strong enough to do it. So I fell off of his hands. But God is so good. Even though I was trying to do it with my strength, he still brought his hands down, saying that he still loves me. He wants me, you know. Um, and even after I wasn't strong enough to hold onto his hands, he still sent somebody to come get me to save me right afterwards. There, I mean, there's more meaning to that dream, but for, um, you know, for you, for, you know, people watching this dream, interpretation wise, you know, the meaning of the dream for your sake is that, um, don't rely on yourself, give everything to God, um, in our weakness, he is our strength, and that's when we're the strongest is when we are in his reign, not ours. Um, so just everything you do, just ask God to give you the grace to do it. You know, at first ask him, is it is it his will that you do whatever you're trying to do? And then ask him to have the grace to do it. And then ask him to give you the strength to do it. And then you can't fail. You'll always succeed because he won't let you fail. If it's his will, you know, God says, Ask anything in my name, and it shall be given unto you. Ask, and you shall receive. You do not have because you do not ask, right? If it's according to his will. And everything that's God's will is 
good for you, you know, everything works out for the good who loves him, for, you know. So my message for today is stop trying to do it on your own. Stop trying to do it by your strength because it's not going to work. It's not going to work, you know. Jesus already did it at the cross. He did everything that he needed to do for us at the cross, you know. And just get more and more in God's presence. How do you do that, you might ask? It's by waking up 3 o'clock in the morning and praying, you know, by seeking his face, by saying, God, you know, I want more of you. I, I want to believe in you. I want to feel your presence. I want you to talk to me. I want you to give me gifts. I want to I wanna be more like you, Jesus, right? And he will absolutely talk to you and just keep you in awe of him. Keep you in awe, complete awe of him in ways that you aren't even imaginable, that you cannot deny him. You can't possibly deny him. There's no denying, right? And he will never let you trip, right? And he will keep you in perfect peace. All whose eyes stay on Jesus will be in perfect peace. And for the times coming ahead, this is what we need. We need to be in Jesus and we need to be in perfect peace, right? So, just words of encouragement for you and a little bit of advice, all right? You know, stay in the Lord. If you don't know Jesus, you need to welcome him into your life. You know, just say this prayer. Jesus, you know, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Um, I believe in you. I believe that you were beaten for me, spit on me, persecuted for me, disfigured for me, right? And that you were nailed to a cross and that you bore all of our sins on that cross, right? And you nailed it to the cross, defeating sin and defeating the grave and making a spectacle out of all the devil and his army, right? And you have the keys to death and you have peace to life right and you give life and you died on the cross for us and you rose again on the third day hallowed be your name and um i just want to surrender my life to you i want to give it all to you jesus i don't want to be disobedient anymore i don't want to be living in sin anymore i want to be a new creation in christ i want to be a new person i want to be born again of the spirit and of water right because Jesus says, whoever is not born again of spirit and water cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So surrender it all to God. Ask him to forgive you for all of your sins. Because you can't go through all of your sins. Admit everything that you've done wrong. And ask God to forgive you for it. And say all my sins known and unknown. Right? And just ask him to enter your hearts, into your mind. Open your eyes to see. Open your ears to hear. And give you a heart of flesh and remove that heart of stone amen and give your life to jesus and then after you do that go get baptized in water listen it doesn't have to be a fancy thing go to an ocean go to go to a body of water and have someone baptize you right in the name of jesus and the holy spirit will come and see you after you surrender your life to him and baptism of water is just an outward expression of, about what already happened to you inside when you said, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior, right? And once you do that, you will receive the Holy Spirit. But it is it is Jesus, um, it's what Jesus said to go get baptized. So you need to go get baptized. But um, love all of you and um, stay in the Lord. Bye.